Dear students, we have discussed that how computers communicate with each other using certain protocols. Now the time has arrived that we also need to learn that if there are different kind of networks, how those networks are combined together to form a bigger network. So why we need to combine different networks? It's necessary to connect existing networks to form an extended communication system. And you know, today we have internet which is connecting a computer that is, for example, in Lahore to a computer that is in Europe or in USA or in other part of the world. And same type of at least networks can be combined to form a bigger network. There are different options. One of the options is you can use repeaters, then bridges, switches, and we will discuss another called router as well. So for example, we have a network over here. And there is a network over here. And both of the networks need to be connected. We can use repeater or bridge. So what repeaters do? That is a device that passes signals back and forth between two original buses with some form of am amplification. So amplification means that the signals coming over here are extended, amplified and to reach to this network. And without understanding the meanings of the messages. This means if a message has been initiated by this computer that goes until here and the signals drops then the repeater amplifies the signal and send this message to all of the computers over here as well without seeing that whether this message was sent for this particular computer or all of the computers in this network. So then there is a bridge. This only transfer messages by looking the IP addresses. So this will not broadcast the message from this computer to this network this network if the message is not for someone who is residing into this network if the message is only for these computers this bridge will not broadcast this message to this particular network and then there is a switch so that connects several buses rather than just two so we have one network here that is a bus another bus is here and another bus is here. So here we can make a switch uh, use a switch that works like a bridge and forwards only relevant messages and it doesn't work like repeaters. So this means a message sent from here if that is relevant for this network this message will be forwarded to this one. Otherwise, this message will remain here if it is only for this network. And what are the limitations of using repeaters, bridges or the switches? So the limitation is that when we have more than one type of network, we cannot use these things. So for example, one network is a Wi-Fi, another is using, for example, bus topology, another is using, for example, star topology. So how those things will be interconnected. So we can use router in this case. These are special computers to forward messages over diversified characterized networks like internet. And it provides links, routers, routes, communications and helps to transfer messages. So it also form a particular path. So for example, if a message is need to be sent over here from for example here so it form a path as well that how this message should reach until this position and such a network of network where different kind of networks having different topologies are connected this is called internet with small i we will also learn about the difference between small i internet and capital I internet in the next module. So router maintains the forwarding table directions in which messages should be sent based on the destination. And there is another concept known as gateway 
द पॉइंट एट विच वन नेटवर्क इज लिंक टू द इंटरनेट इज नाउन एज गेट वे सो वी समराइज टू डेज मॉड्यूल वी हैव लर्न हाउ डिफरेंट नेटवर्क कैन बी कंबाइन टूगेदर वी हैव लर्न अबाउट रिपीटर्स वी हैव लर्न अबाउट ब्रिजेस स्विचेस राउटर्स एंड हाउ द फॉरवर्डिंग टेबल्स आर यूज एंड देन वट इज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ गेट वे